The first and simplest technique that we're going to look at is filtration, which separates insoluble solids from liquids. This is basically the same process as using a sieve. In chemistry, we normally use filter paper, which has lots of tiny holes in it that are small enough so that water can pass through, but not solids. We often place the filter paper within a filter funnel as well, so that we can easily pour our mixture through it, leaving the solid behind on the paper. You can filter. And to filter, we're going to be using a, a setup that is going to use a, a, some filter paper. And we've got our uh, funnel right here. We've got, I've got a glass funnel. Notice that I've got my ring stand with my ring hooked up to it. I have uh, a beaker that I'm going to hold my liquid in. And I've got a filter paper. I've got a filter paper. I'll show you how to use the filter paper in a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my setup. I'm going to bring down my ring so that the funnel is a little slightly, just slightly in the beaker. And then I'm going to place the beaker so that the funnel is touching the wall of the beaker. Again, what I want is I want the liquid that begins to drip down to run down the wall of the beaker. I don't want it to splash. All right, so now setting up the filter paper. Okay, to set up the filter paper in here, uh, I'm also going to need. Uh, my wash bottle. Uh, I'm first going to um, squirt um, my funnel real quick so that the filter paper will stick a little better on there. Okay, you can see there was no splashing. In this case, it's water on water, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to have to dump this out. All right, so now I'm going to fold my filter paper into quarters. So here's, I folded it into half. So here, fold it into half. And I'm going to fold it into half again. Okay, fold it into half again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first, right, I've got one, two, three layers that I've made, right? So I'm going to take the first layer, and notice that the first layer will give me a good cone right here. So now I just open it, and it gives me a cone shape, a funnel shape. Now I'm going to place it in the glass funnel and I'm going to press it gently against it. I don't want to tear it. And for the funnel paper, for the funnel, uh, for the filter paper to stick to the funnel, I'm actually going to have to add a little bit of water and I'm going to have to wet it, okay? And that will allow my filter paper to stick against the walls of the funnel. So now I'll just very gently push against it. I want my paper to really stick against the walls, but don't tear it careful not to tear. All right, so there it is. So now what I can do is, once again, uh, being very careful, I'm going to use again my uh, chemical spatula. And this time I'm placing the chemical spatula all the way down into the filter paper, right? And I'm going to pour a little bit at a time so that it only goes halfway up the filter paper. All right, I stop. Notice that the water is coming down, starting to come down. Uh, I don't want to go above the filter paper, so it's safer to just go halfway up the filter paper. <laughs> Filtration takes quite a bit of time. Now, this isn't against the wall, so I need to adjust it. There we go. I shouldn't see dripping down. I should see a stream coming down the side. And so once uh, the water or the liquid level has gone below the half, I can add a little bit more and I can continue to filter the liquid here.